Hello. Good morning. Hello, good afternoon all. Dear viewers, you are wholeheartedly welcome to the Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Center Coaching Facebook Live session. Today our topic is prospects to be a bachelor degree holder from IGNO, the world's largest open university. I am Dr. VT Jalajagumari, Assistant Regional Director of Indira Gandhi National Open University Regional Center, Kochi. This is our admission time. And especially this COVID-19 pandemic period, many of the students are very much interested to join open distance learning programs, especially in IGNU, the world's largest open university. As you know, Indira Gandhi National Open University has started. It's working in 1985. And all over India, we have more than 3,000 study centers. We have 56 regional centers all over the country. And lakhs of students are studying in IGNU from 1985 onwards. Nowadays, especially during this digital world, digital education world, the relevance and importance of Indira Gandhi National Open University is increasing day by day. The programs in IGNU are highly inspiring the learners of higher education. Today, we are focusing on the bachelor degree programs of IGNU and how Bachelor degree programs of IGNU is facilitating the aspirants of uh, future or the uh, aspirants of the coming generation. So everywhere we have a digital divide also, even though, even though in this digital divide and other technical difficulties, IGNU is able to deal with the learners of different programs in many ways through its uh, e-support systems and mainly the admission portal which is provided in the IGNU, region, IGNU web main website www.ignu.ac.in students are through which students are taking admission for many programs at this time i think it is very much apt if we are delivering the details of bachelor degree programs and how bachelor degree programs are helping the students or the aspirants of IGNU learners. So let us have a look on various programs of IGNU in bachelor degrees. Nowadays, in the revised form of our syllabus and scheme, our bachelor degree programs are divided in these headings. You can see that BAG. BAG means BA general programs, BA owners programs, BSc general programs, BCom general, that is what BCom G, BCA, Bachelor of Computer Applications, BLIS, Bachelor of Library Science, BTS, Bachelor of Tourism Studies, BSWG, that is Bachelor of Social Work general and bba rl one more program is there uh, that that also comes under bachelor of tourism and uh, vocational studies that is bav tm these are the main bachelor degree programs in ignu under different disciplines different categories the first one let us have a look That is BAG. I told you that it is BA General. Why we are putting these two terminologies, BA General and BAH? You know that uh, something difference is there in between two of these terminologies. On the basis of the credits allotted and on the basis of the scheme and syllabus, these two categories are there in bachelor degree programs. Bachelor of Arts, BAG programs are coming under these disciplines. 
anthropology, economics, political science, history, psychology, public administration, sociology, mathematics, Hindi, Urdu, English, Sanskrit, education, and philosophy. Under these disciplines, IGNU is providing bachelor degree programs under general. What is the difference between bachelor degree programs in honors and general? Earlier, the IGNU was providing bachelor degree programs with 96 credits. 96 credits were the programs for bachelor degrees. And in, you know that uh, all like other universities and in, as per the approval of the UGC or as per the UGC norms, our bachelor degree programs of three years. And within that three years, students have to had to complete 96. But in revised syllabus under CBCS, choice based credit system, that is what CBCS. Choice based credit system always provide learners to select their dis uh, courses, discipline wise courses or on the basis of their interest and choice. And uh, we are getting a chance to select more courses under CBCS. So under CBCS, now the earlier 96 credit bachelor degree programs are offered in 132 credits. That means the uh, content to be learned and the uh, credits um, divided for each courses are a little bit different and more courses are also included. That is why the increase in credit. So bachelor degree program BAG uh, consists of disciplines with or courses with 132 credits. But the bachelor degree program of honors, these programs includes courses of a total of 148 credits. That is the main difference between. So how much uh, the students have to involve uh, to learn these two programs and what is the difference in the, in the scheme and syllabus itself or the content size uh, or the number of disciplines, number of courses that you can understand from the differentiation of 132 credits and 148 credits. That is the main difference between these two. And uh, the same course, same courses, same programs always di uh, differ in credits and in content with a little bit more complicated things. It's uh, as a, in the point view, in the point of student or in the view of a student, we cannot say that it is complicated, but it is more uh, content oriented to learn and it will be more specific in some other additional disciplines also for selecting uh, more disciplines for further studies, for higher studies, because we are thinking about and we are discussing about the, we are speaking on bachelor degree programs. When you are going for uh, a master degree, the students will be able to select, they are getting more choice of selection in for master degree level. That is what the difference between, uh, uh, between the programs, BA owners and BA general. We can say that it is always better to have a bachelor degree with an honors degree because it is having more options to select in higher studies. And this is a universally uh, accepted uh, scheme is also there in bachelor degree programs. That is the main difference between bachelor degree programs, general and honors. So let us have a look on discipline wise, uh, semester wise, I told you. Then what are the program uh, available in under the category of bachelor degree honors? Economics bachelor degree honors program is there. That is known as BAECH. The H represents honors. First BA is for BA and EC for economics. Like that you can uh, identify the denotation of the course given in brackets. History is also like that BAHIH. Then political science, public administration, sociology, psychology, anthropology, and biochemistry. These are the different disciplines on which we are offering our bachelor degree programs in honors. Then let us have a look. What is the objectives? What are the objectives of these bachelor degree programs for students? 
the, especially the BA degree programs, which comes under the humanities so, and social sciences, to introduce the learners to a main theme, the main themes and topics of dif disciplines in humanities, social sciences, and uh, sciences, to provide the learners with the information and the skills necessary to understand and analyze their world. Enable the learners to work towards ability and skill enhancement through exposure to appropriate courses. Impart reading and writing skills through assignments and exercise of such kind at an undergraduate level. Then expose the learner to the importance of the interdisciplinary approaches. So they, uh, I, I may, uh, but this may be better if I am giving little bit more explanation regarding these objectives then only you will understand what are the what is the uh, objective of igno for offering this uh, bag bah and uh, other bachelor degree programs uh, for the learners so definitely we have to focus on some disciplines up to plus two level we are uh, learning with uh, on a general curricular um, concept. Even though they have different disciplines, means humanities, commerce, science, like that, different streams are there. Even though the students are learning in, in a general way, in a generic way, and the scheme and syllabus is all over, uh, so sometimes all over the nation, uh, the same national curriculum framework is following like that. But in state-wise also, there is curriculum frameworks. But different from that, when we are going for a bachelor degree program, we are focusing on a particular discipline to study on. This is what the difference between uh, plus two level learning and other higher studies. So from bachelor degree onwards, the learners are trying to focus on a particular discipline. At that time, they may have a deep uh, sensitization on the subjects which are aware, which are there to learn or to approach. You know, is giving that opportunity by the different disciplines in humanities, social science, and in our science subjects. Then provide the learners with the information, skill necessary to understand and analyze their world. Why we are telling this? In the revised CBCS programs of IGNU, students are getting a lot of chance to uh, study in different skill-based disciplines because the choice-based credit system is divided into main disciplines, uh, skill-based disciplines, ability enhancement disciplines, means courses, ability enhancement courses and generic electives like that. So IGNU, Bachelor degree programs means if, even though it is but BA degree, BSc degree or BLIS, BTMs, whatever it may be, the students will be able to understand or students, students are becoming efficient to deal with a particular disciplines which are having a skill orientation and ability orientation. That is why these two objectives we are specifying here. So the next two is telling about the skill enhancement and ability enhancement courses we are getting uh, through this IGNU programs. And that exposure is always helping for the learners. Uh, and they can uh, select, as per their skill, they can select the appropriate courses also. Like that, equally we are giving importance to languages along with the other ability enhancement and skill enhancement courses. So students will be able to uh, compete with language skills. And the language efficiency is also one of the major objective of IGNU for providing its programs. And uh, these exposures, these discipline-wise, skill-wise, ability-wise, and language ability-wise uh, exposure they are getting from IGNU makes them more efficient to be in a master degree level or in other areas of studies with a proper proficiency and efficiency. That is what the main objectives of IGNU bachelor degree programs. Then 
I have to focus on the BA degree programs generally, the eligibility for that. Almost all bachelor degree programs, the eligibility is 10 plus 2. Not almost all, all. I have to stick on that a sentence that is 10 plus 2 is or equivalent is the eligibility. Why equivalent? See, we are, we are telling that uh, in S S S Kerala, literacy mission programs are there, adult, uh, this continuing education programs are there, which are uh, considered as equivalent to 10 plus 2. So in ma many different streams, students are getting their uh, level of um, degree or uh, eligibility at 10, uh, 12th class and 10 plus 2 other equivalent classes. That's what I mean by, we mean by uh, equivalent 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And most of the programs of bachelor degree are offered in English and Hindi. And the minimum period of uh, duration is three years. And we are giving a flexibility of open distance learning by offering a maximum a duration of six years from three year to six year students are getting uh, a chance to learn because that is what the flexibility of open distance learning and the fee structure compared to the other uh, learning areas or other learning institution higher learning institutions you know is having a marginal uh, fee for almost all programs and uh, here it is specifically given that for BA, 9,900 is the full fee, full program fee paid for three years. That means year-wise, 3,300 they can pay. And in the first year only, for the first year, along with the program fee, 200 rupees they have to pay as registration fee. So only in the first year, 3,500 rupees students have to pay. And in the subsequent years, means in second year and third year, they can pay 3,300 3, each. So, IGNU is not asking the students to pay all the fee together. Because our major is the bachelor degree students and all other degree students, they are taking their admission in first year by paying a fee of that first year only. Then they have to take re-registration for the second year and the other subsequent years, means third year. Like that master degree program also. So it is always a, a, a helping mentality of ICNU. It's a helping um, strategy for IGNU because sometimes some of the students are very much, uh, they feel easy to pay this money, but uh, in our country, especially like a country like India, many students are there who feel difficulty to pay 9,900 rupees at it in one um, uh, slot or a one time fee payment will be difficult for them. So this stream of uh, fee payment or this uh, strategy of fee payment is always very much helpful for the uh, students who are coming from economically backward sector and they can easily do 3,300 rupees each year. So together, they have a fee of 9,900 rupees for bachelor degree program, BA degree programs. For other programs, difference is there that I will tell you. And uh, all the BAG programs are offered in January and July. Cycle. Then uh, you may have a doubt that whether IGNU is offering two times admission in a year. Yes, of course. IGNU is having uh, admission in January session and July session every year. So we have examination also like that. In December and June, we have examinations. So we have two admission sessions, January and July. Currently, the admission session is going on for uh, July 2021 session. Even though the pandemic difficulties are there, uh, all the activities of IGNU is going very smoothly. And as usual, only we have a little bit uh, um, delay happens in the examinations because of the social distance for uh, the so protocol of social distancing and other things. We are keeping a little bit uh, delay 
in the conduct of examinations. It's not only for, uh, you know, but for all the institutions everywhere. Maybe it's a, everywhere in the world. Like that it is going on. So we are also uh, following the COVID protocols. But we have usually two, type, two times admission, means two semesters admission, January and July. The current session is July 2021. So for that, uh, the, for the um, aspirants of learners of July 2021, we are giving these details of bachelor degree admission. Then, especially uh, one program I have to tell you. One BA psychology program is there along with the BAG programs. That is not uh, BA general, that is BA owners, BAPC. BAPC program owners is there, BAPC H. For that, practical components are more. So learning learners opting BA psychology courses with the practical components are required to pay an extra fee of rupees 600 in each year. So in addition to the uh, 3,300 rupees, the students of BA psychology have to pay 600 rupee, rupees. Uh, it is for the cost of their practicals. So the university follows the credit system. I told you earlier for offering all these programs and uh, one credit is of uh, 30 study hours. One credit is equivalent to 30 hour, uh, hours. It is a unit. It is a standardized unit of teaching, learning uh, activities by which we are expecting a standard output from the learners. If a student, uh, as a model student, if a student is uh, spending 30 hours uh, to study by writing, reading, assignment, submission, preparation for examination and all, they will be eligible for getting a, a study output of one credit from that particular discipline. This is what, this is only a standardized unit for um, uh, fixing the content and the study time of the people, of the students uh, on the basis of the syllabus and curriculum. So that is what credit. So all our programs are credit based. All credits are, means one credit is equal to 30 hours of study. So uh, how much of time one student has to uh, spend for study in a typical manner? That's what, in a standardized manner, that you can calculate from that. So in addition to that bachelor degree program, uh, BA, G, um, general programs, I, I, I'll say first. Then I'll come to honors degree. So next is BCom. BCom, you know, BCom general programs are there. Like that, we have uh, different types of BCom programs in IGNO. IGNO, it's in the IGNO Facebook Live itself, different types of uh, programs of BCom, BTS, etc. were giving uh, last day also. And uh, you can visit the IGNO Facebook and uh, all the live programs are seen there in recorded form. That also you can find out. But generally, the BCom Bachelor Degree of uh, Commerce, you, you know, for what purpose this Bachelor Degree of Commerce in general and some other uh, varied disciplines like uh, F and A, C A and A, like that uh, programs are there. All these programs are framed or structured to inculcate knowledge, skills, attitude amongst the learners to meet the challenges of various dimensions of business and commerce. You know that uh, um, why students are um, uh, showing their interest to study commerce disciplines. The development of the skills in commerce domain areas and facilitate the employability as well as the self-employability of the learners. Then to provide commerce education to large number of learners located in different parts of the country, including far-flung areas of selected abroad stay, uh, centers. Means, you know, how partner institutions, the terminology I was telling because we are using the terminology partner institutions instead of study centers, uh, which are located in abroad countries. So almost 30, 35 countries we have 
partner institutions other than that of the study centers in India. So there also we are imparting commerce education and uh, we know we are uh, living in, a, in the world of a mar we are living in a marketing world. So everywhere, even education is uh, the part of marketing and commerce. So the ability of commerce is an unavoidable and necessary part of every learners, I think, every individual. Like that, our world is going ahead. So the, the futuristic view on commerce programs, commerce discipline is very important. And uh, the different strat um, criteria of become degree programs of IGNU is offering a chance to the learners, offering a chance to the aspirants to be uh, familiar with the development of skills in commerce, the domain areas and facilities uh, of the employability and their self-employability. Because many students, uh, they can start many uh, um, startups or they can be entrepreneurs of many pro many areas after studying the BCom degree program of IGNO. And uh, it is to provide commerce education too. That is what we were telling the large number of learners located in different parts of our country and like that of the different areas of our abroad study centers that like that commerce education is also provided to a mass as well as the disadvantaged and the marginal groups of the society to find a job and they can start uh, their self employment after getting education in commerce disciplines like that they will get uh, analytical skills financial and accounting skills as well as managerial skills through the commerce programs. This also uh, a, a program can be taken after 10 plus 2 or equivalent uh, eligibility and the program is offered in English and Hindi medium both and this is like uh, other programs general generally I was telling that three year six year minimum maximum duration and the fee structure is also same as to the other bachelor degree programs. And the programs are offered both in January and Ju July sessions. Now, let us see the BSEG programs, Bachelor of Science General Programs. The objective is, you know that uh, the students uh, who are interested to study sciences, and if they are not getting a chance to go for regular studies, you know, bachelor degree programs in science, BSEG will equip them to continue their higher studies and to provide higher education required for BSc degree in conformity with the UGC CBCS to aspirants. That is what our BSc general and general programs are approved by the University Grants Commission and this choice based credit system is also keeping the learners to achieve more in their science studies for higher education and uh, also it helps the students from the remote areas where one uh, science college is not uh, available and if the student is uh, not able to reach the science colleges in the uh, far away locations definitely IGNU is there to help them so IGNU motto you know IGNU is at your doorstep that means at any for any student at, from any rural area can approach the programs of IGNU, even science programs. That is the importance of this BSEG programs of IGNU and who seek the degree for employment and for further higher education and for their promotion, uh, their career promotion and for their professional development. This BSc degree is equipping many students from the different areas of the world see what are the programs available in BSEG. We have BSE Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Botany, Zoology, Geology and Geography. So now under the CBCS scheme, Geology, Geography programs are also available in Indira Gandhi National Open University. Then eligibility is, you know, uh, science subjects uh, the students who have learned science subjects in their plus two level or equivalent level can 
avail uh, admission in bsc their medium is also as usual english and hindi minimum 3 years maximum 6 years offered both in january and july admission cycles but the fee structure is different you know why because bsc is having a lot of practical sessions so practical programs need uh, its cost is high ex more expensive program and uh, lab facilities how to be availed and lab facilities how to be provided to you and um, the um, chemicals and other uh, equipments for lab experiments how to be provided for that uh, you know has to pay very big amount to the institutions where your programs are attached with so we our uh, program fee is little bit higher than that of the other bachelor degree programs you know that in regular system also bachelor degree uh, arts program and science programs are of different fee st structure so here 14700 is the fee for bsc programs 4900 per year you can you have to pay and here also for the first year students as i told for bachelor of arts 200 rupees we have to pay for a registration fee here also 4900 plus 200 that is 5100 rupees we have to pay for the first year and other uh, uh, second year and third year 4900 each in the cbcs bsc general program like a ba 132 is the total credits of the uh, six semesters six semesters the admission procedure we are doing year wise and uh, both the semesters together we are selecting at the time of admission and examination is also like that we are conducting the examinations year wise but programs are uh, uh, charted out and uh, it has been given in the prospectus as first semester second semester like that that's why i told for six semesters for three year six uh, two uh, semesters each six semesters are there later sometimes uh, in future uh, semester wise uh, we will be able to conduct it but that is a policy matter i am not telling about it. anyway the program is structured in that way but we are conducting now currently year wise that is the difference between this uh, only the difference between ba and uh, bsc generally is the fee structure all other things are similar discipline wise uh, differences is there that you know and Another program is Bachelor of Computer Applications. This is run by the Computer and Information Sciences School of Computer and Information Sciences at headquarters. And uh, almost in all regional centers, in all studies, uh, many study centers under almost all regional centers, this uh, BCA program is offered. In, especially in Cochin, we have uh, one study center in Trishur, one is uh, in Ernakulam, one is at Kote. So, we are one is at Trishur, once again in, in um, Ansar Women's College. That is uh, the program is uh, offered in that Ansar Women's College. It is nearby Perimbilava. Perimbilava means nearby Kundangula. That area that uh, program is there. One is at SS College Tevera, IRS Computers Trishur, and uh, Triple IT Kote. These are the study centers where these BCA, MCA programs are offered. I am telling about you BCA only. So this is also, uh, you know that this is also a bachelor degree and this computer application. Eligibility is 10, 10 plus 2 equivalent. Uh, no differentiation between um, humanities like that. But I'll uh, tell you the main objective and other eligibility conditions also. The program is to open a channel of admission for computing courses for computing courses for students then who have done their plus two and are interested in taking computing IT as a career. After acquiring the bachelor's degree of BCA at IGNU, there is further educational opportunity to go for an MCA degree in IGNU, that is our master degree of computer application or at any other university. You don't think that if you are taking a BCA degree in IGNU, you will be able to go further studies for, for MCA in IGNU only, no. You can avail your admission for a master's degree at any university or institute. Also, after completing BCA program, the student should be able to get an entry level job also in the uh, job market easily after getting this uh, 
BCA degree from IGNU. <coughs> okay. Minimum three years and maximum six years of both in January and July cycle. But the fees is a little bit different. <coughs> a fees is 42,000 because computer application, you know, computer degrees are of uh, more practical sessions. That is why 42,000. <coughs> it is a semester wise program. So this semester wise program for um, 7,000 rupees per semester. So six semesters are there. <coughs> One second, please. Sorry. <coughs> so for total six semesters, six into seven thousand forty two thousand rupees will be there for BCA degree. So this is a, a little bit expensive program. You know why? Because it is uh, having more employability chances and uh, it's a highly uh, intensively. Uh, practicum oriented practicals oriented program that's why <clears throat> next is one of the other uh, program we have in igno is a one year program of bachelor of library science library and information sciences so nowadays um, recently it is uh, conducting in a revised manner that's why this uh, title has been given for a new learner it is not an issue of revised or uh, old or envy whatever it may be new learners can join for BLIS in IGNU and uh, this program is a one-year program so the eligibility condition is different it is uh, not like the other bachelor degree programs only bachelor degree holders can join for BLIS degree because after a bachelor degree this is a highly job oriented program that's why this uh, bachelor degree of one-year program is offered as another bachelor degree after the students who have completed their bachelor degree. So the eligibility condition is 50 percentage of marks with the bachelor degree. This is for general category students. For the other uh, SEST, OBC, physically handicapped learners will get the benefit of or relaxation of 5 percentage marks. Means if they have 45, 45 percentage of marks in their bachelor degree, they will get admission in uh, IGNU BLIS program. So this also a uh, bachelor degree with if this also helping them for getting a good job in libraries and at the same time a, another relaxation a chance is there for uh, eligibility condition if a learner with uh, a diploma of one year in library science will also get this get admission for this one their 50 percentage um, eligibility condition will be relaxed again. The condition is that if the student is not having 50 percentage or as per the uh, category uh, relaxation 45 percent they will get admission in bachelor's degree of library science if they have a diploma degree in library science along with their bachelor degree again bachelor degree students with two years of working experience in a library and information center will also get admission even if they don't have 40 percentage of marks this is what the eligibility criteria for blis and uh, this also um, english <coughs> only in english that is the difference between uh, other bachelor degree programs and this one this is offered only in english but the students from the hindi areas are uh, who are um, specific in hindi medium can write their assignments and attainment examination in Hindi language also. We will value and give certificate. But the program is offered. That means the study materials are offered in um, English. Maybe the counseling sessions are also will be in English. The duration is one year, but we are giving a maximum of two years. That is what the open distance learning flexibility. <coughs> I have to finish uh, quickly the fee for 
BLS degree is 7,700 rupees. Another program is our BTS program. Of our school is offering the School of Tourism and Hospitality Services Management is offering this program. This BTS is also a three-year degree program. And uh, two types of tourism programs we have. This is a, a 96 credit program as the old one. This well, syllabus is revised, but it is a 96 credit program. This BTS program is designed for those students who are interested in pursuing a career in travel and tourism sector at a different level. The program is aimed at familiarizing you with varied aspects of tourism, creating awareness about tourism, imparting basic training in organizing, uh, tourism services and opening career opportunities. The program will be of uh, use to those who are interested in employment, direct or indirect in tourism industry, intend to make a career in tourism industry, or providing tourism related services through own enterprises or planning to become such entrepreneur. The program is also useful for those who are associated with tourism awareness programs. Some people are very much interested to be aware of uh, different disciplines. They can also do that. So uh, they can also um, study the BTS program on the basis of their interest in travel and tourism. 10 plus 2 is the eligibility. Medium is uh, English and Hindi. Duration is as usual, 3 years and 6 years. Offered both in January and July cycle. Fee structure is different. This is 11,400 for full program. Means 3,800. So, a little bit different only. 3,800 per year. That is the different because this is also having projects and field work practicums. That is why. Then, this program is coming under vocational study uh, stream also. That is known as BA VTM. Bachelor of Arts, Vocational Studies, Tourism Management. Sir, so, uh, the Bachelor Degree Program. Of, sorry, this is of. Uh, uh, sorry, I have to tell you about the BSWG program. This is for social work students who are interested to do social work studies and uh, providing professional assistance to the people is needed. This bachelor. So I have a little bit changes uh, it has come in the slide. No problem. You focus on BSWG programs. BSWG program is for um, the students who are interested in social work and persons with professional training and uh, in socially relevant areas such as healthcare, community development, education, uh, industry, counseling, uh, means family counseling um, and uh, other correction agencies, social defense, women empowerment areas, then facilitating the child development activities, then the special activities for disabled uh, people. If people are interested to work on these areas, they can select BSW program, Bachelor of Social Work. So with the globalization of uh, market economy and uh, liberalization of the uh, new world, new concerns and human problems are emerging always in counseling uh, areas and uh, in uh, many difficult areas are there with the people. So to help people in social work, students can select this program and for the, this is also offered in both the cycles and the fee for BSW is 5,800 in a year. Then for the three years, uh, the total amount will be 17,400. So this is what uh, once I have inadvertently given that topic here, the same thing only given here. So the uh, next program, BBA RL, School of Management Studies SO, MS is conducting this program. It's a very important program for bachelor degree uh, aspirants. The, it is also of uh, 96 credits and uh, it is having uh, on the job training at the during the period of your study internship is there and uh, the first year it is coming as a, a modular approach program modular approach program do you do you know what is what it is modular approach program is that from one step to another the student can uh, uh, attain degrees from 
different levels. Means first year they are getting a diploma in retail. In the second year they are getting an advanced diploma in retail. And in the third year they are getting a bachelor degree of um, business administration and re in retail. Means by doing this program, this if they are completing their first year, they will get a degree. Like that, if they are completing second year, then also they will get another a degree, another certificate. And in the third year, they will get the complete BBA ARL certificate. And the students will be able to, because they are doing an internship and a job training, OG, OJT training, you know. In vocational education, it is a must. That is also provided by IGNU to these learners. So after that, uh, submitting their internship uh, and OJT workbooks, there will be a viva was also for their work, workbook. So highly practical oriented practicum only. So uh, this program is offered only in two lay sessions, not in both sessions. That is the uh, importance of this one. Eligibility, I'll tell you, 10 plus 2. Two types of entries are there. One is direct entry after 10 plus 2. And uh, another entry is also there. That entry is uh, category D is a sponsored admission. It means if you are working somewhere, the sponsor can allow you to nominate as a learner. But 10 plus 2 eligibility is required at that time also. And uh, the sponsor will submit a letter on the company's uh, letterhead issued by the competent authority along with an individual application from form of the candidate nominated with the program fee uh, through a DD. And uh, it is a uh, DD has to be taken in favor of, in favor of IGNU payable at New Delhi. And if with uh, the letter of your employer, uh, with the pay, this payment, you will be admitted in BBA RL program. This is also offered only in English media. Duration is three years and a maximum six years you will get. Only in July session cycles, we are a July admission cycle, we are offering this program. The fee structure is 27,000 because what, all, what are the uh, learning components attached with that, that you are listening. So the expense is a little bit more. 27,000 comes, means every year 9,000 each. So you will get uh, immediately after, I told you, after first year, after finishing your first year, you will get a, D a DAR and the advanced degree after second year, finally BBA RL degree. So these are the programs offered in um, IGNO for bachelor degree programs. I was um, giving a uh, detailed information regarding all the bachelor degree programs of IGNU, but uh, these we, uh, details I have given here through this Facebook live session will be available in the IGNU Regional Center Coaching Facebook and further also you can um, listen and you can study carefully about your programs of bachelor degree and at the same time you will be very much happy if you are giving this information to your friends and uh, other uh, people in uh, you are familiar with, then the IGNU degree programs will be uh, spread everywhere. And uh, as I told you at first, IGNU is the is a university having the rank of world's uh, largest university, world's largest open university. The Many reasons are there. Nowadays, you know that uh, uh, when you um, see the IGNU site, a particular emblem is there, a particular mark is there. That means IGNU secured the NAC accreditation A++. So that is also the credibility of IGNU. And the world's number one open university is always at your doorstep for helping you uh, in your studies with uh, many strategies we have online counseling sessions. We have digital repository for all study materials. We have e-content app for uh, offering you study materials. Also, we have a very big digital repository like eGyankosh, where all the study materials and other related documents of IGNU is available. And many videos of classes uh, are available in the eGyankosh. We have uh, many channels of uh, uh, learning uh, our Soyam Prabha channel, uh, four Soyam Prabha channels are there. We have MOOC courses. So all these are for supporting you 
in your studies by e support system that is the uh, the um, mean uh, means what uh, that is why uh, that is the one of the reasons our biggest e support system is another reason for having this uh, ranking as world's number one university that is also there biggest university at the same time we are one of the uh, among the number one universities so the programs offered to ignu are always facilitating the learners in their continuous learning for lifelong study immediately we are sure that if you are taking a degree from ignu definitely you will come for your master degree and after that you will be our a uh, student for different many other diplomas and certificates so uh, welcome you all for the big platform of the biggest university uh, happily and uh, all uh, the academics of ignu regional center coaching are uh, once again um, happily welcome you for ignu learning and uh, i am very much thankful to you for listening us this much of time thank you very much